Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris from TransientMobile.com. I got a email from a band called Distant Sounds, and they got a song called uh, Arkiv. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They're from Sweden, and they asked if I would take a little stab at mixing it and give them a little rundown of uh, all the little stuff I ended up doing to uh, get the mix how I got it. So let's play a little snippet for you. First things first, we're going to break down the drums. These came on two tracks. And let's go ahead and hear what they sound like raw. And I will show you what I got. Let's also go into a reverb and I'm going to kill that. Two stereo drum tracks, one I panned out wide and one I kept up the center. So let's hear this first one here, uh, just dry. And we'll take it from uh, this little intro part. So first things first, I added a little bit of EQ on the SSL channel strip. I pretty much instantiated this across all channels, whether I used it or not. Ended up using it, as you see down here, to kind of pot down the input on a lot of stuff. Um, this thing, I ended up giving it some highs and a little bit of high mids. Cut out a little bit of the lows. Touch compression, and that's about it. And uh, that went from this... Too. The guy rides a floor tom in the beginning here. Couldn't really hear it until I added this R bass plug-in, which is by Waves. Ends up giving a, a specific bass frequency boost. So here I'll kick it on while that's playing. So you can hear it kind of kick in a little bit of the lows. Let me bypass this automation here. So you can hear this floor tom groove. So it just gives a little bit of low. And that one was pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna kick the automation back on. I'll get to the automation after this. So pretty much add a little bass, the R bass, to get the floor tom to poke out some top end. And that's about it on this, no, no compression. And then I took a copy of this first track and added it into this drum P, which is a drum punch. What I did was, on the EQ here, I scooped out a ton of the highs, emphasized the snare a little, got rid of the mid-range boxiness, and a little bit of low end for the kick to punch through. And then I sent that through the bomb factory. Uh, 1176 style plugin, all buttons in, time the attack and release, and gave it a pretty good smack of compression. So let's hear it with just this guy. And then all three together. And And what I ended up doing on the drum bus was sending all those tracks to here. And I have another SSL channel going. A little more compression. Uh, some more highs. And uh, that's about it for that. And I used a sort of tape emulation called the PNM Analogger. And uh, I have that about 50% on tape. 
and we'll go ahead and hear what this guy sounds like when these guys kick in. just gives it a little more life and kind of controls that it was hitting this bus pretty hard I had to tame it back and then I went ahead and added some reverb and that pretty much concludes the drums I'll go ahead and cover the bass on this video as well and then we'll switch over to another subject uh, this came with two bass tracks and uh, we'll play them for you raw real quick and uh, I did the same thing on the bass bus added a few things so we're gonna go fully raw with this bass and I'll switch between these two as far as the soloing goes let's hear them together <laughs> This first bass track. Not like a huge difference on that. Uh, basically filtered out some lows, gave it a little bit of compression. And that's about it for this. Just kind of control it a little bit. And on the second one, which I believe was more like of a little rounder tone. A little flatter and quite a bit lower. I think it might have been a DI. I just potted that up and uh, gave it some compression again and really no EQ. And here's what they sound like together. And on the bass sub, I got this SSL EQ, cut out some high mids, scooped off some little um, additional lows, added the CLA 2A compressor. This thing's really cool on bass and helps it just get a nice consistent volume. So let's hear what these two sound like. And then I also added the same analog tape saturation or tape emulator plugin as I did on the drum bus. So I'm going to kick these two in. So just a little bit of sweetening, uh, if you listen to the drums and the bass together, they uh, complement each other pretty well. So the bass is uh, pretty up there. And you can uh, hear the bass drum pretty clearly still. And uh, I think the bass does a pretty uh, good job of driving this song quite a bit. That will conclude the drum bass video. I will hit you guys up. We'll go through some guitars and uh, make our way over to the vocals and get into the automation and some of the effects and stuff like that. And then, of course, this auto where I got bus compression and all that stuff. And I'll let you see what some of the moves and settings are on that and the automation there's a pretty good amount going through I did some on guitars leads a little bit on vocals stuff like that to get everything kind of land where I happen to like it so I will see you guys on the next video once again this is Chris from transientmobile.com and I will see you guys on video number two take it easy